Alright, well that is done. Uh, we're not done for the day though. I just talked to Jimmy and he needs us to go to the store. Uh, to the uh, uh, dealer and pick up a piece of equipment. And I think it's uh, the mower. So we're going to pick up the mower and we're actually going to go ahead and start mowing this little field over here, this pasture area. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't think he owns these two fields. I don't know. I'd have to ask him. But, to go get the mower, we're going to open up the shop here and get this case and head on over to the shop. Luckily, it's just right down the road. We could probably use, uh, you know, one of the smaller tractors to do this, but I uh, figured why not go ahead and just run with AC, nice air ride seat, comfort of the case. So he's already talked to the uh, the owner here, and it's all ready to go, and there it is, right over there next to the Kubota. So we don't even have to go in and talk to him, we just back up and get it and go. Alright, that should be good. Now it's a little too far, we need to back up just a little more. Right there should be all right. The airline's hooked up. All right, we should be all set. Let's go give this thing a test. See how it does on the field. So I haven't seen anything from those uh, those people down there. In fact, I haven't even seen the trucks or, or the car or anything come out of the driveway. So I don't know what the deal is with all that, but we're just going to kind of mind our own business for a little bit here. Alright. Go ahead and get it opened up, and... Let's get this underway. And uh, we're just going to stay on this side of the trees. This is uh, quite a big field. Not sure exactly where his property ends. Probably should have asked him. Oh yeah, that's cut real nice. Okay, so he does own pretty much all of this area. I had to call him real quick. And he does own those fields in the back. Uh, he just doesn't want to do anything with them right now. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to touch them. Uh, we're just going to stay on this side of the path and inside the tree line. It's going to be quite a bit of grass. And uh, luckily he's already got a baler. did not notice if it does square or round bales. He does have a bale trailer though. It would be nice if, uh, if we could get him to you know, pick up one of those bale loaders. Probably do one more headland pass. Give us enough room to turn around. And we're going to come right on up to this field. Now, this is where this big case is going to come in handy, right here on this hill.
right, back at the beginning. It's cutting up this grass real nice. Ooh, just pay attention to where I'm going. Not sure what else I want to get into today. Maybe talk to Jimmy, see if he knows anybody that may have some chains or something to uh, move those logs. We need to get those logs moved out of the way so we can kind of sort of start planning the layout of, uh, of the cabin or the house, whatever I decide to build. Uh, now, for, if we go with like a, you know, a house sticks and mortar kind of house then I'd have, I'll have to call a local sawmill or something and, and uh, see about getting those logs stripped down into uh, some boards but we'll worry about all that whenever the time comes uh, we are starting to run low on funds so we got to be a little bit careful with how much I spend Spent quite a bit on the tractors and on that truck. And then as well as, you know, miscellaneous stuff, food and, and whatnot. But, I'm going to go ahead and get the drone out and get you some, uh, some uh, aerial footage. Cutting this grass field. done final pass there's a couple of little spots that I want to go back and get just because I know it's gonna bug me all right that should be it for main part of cutting oh there was a spot over here by this tree yeah here it is There we 
go. And there's one more little spot over here. Just a little bitty piece. It's going to bug me though if I don't cut it. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Alright, there we go. Go ahead and shut that off. And get it folded up. Overall, not a bad mower. This tractor pulls it with no problems at all up this hill. So, I'm not sure exactly where we are going to park it. Actually, there's another little area right over here we could park it in. All right, that'll work. Perfect. This case sure is dirty now. We'll definitely have to talk to him about getting a pressure washer over here. But I think that's going to do it for work today. Um Actually, let me let me go make sure. Let me go talk to Jimmy and just make sure everything is done for the day. He doesn't want to collect the grass yet. So, let's go talk to him and find out. Man, that Jimmy sure can talk. It is past noon. But, he does want us to do one last thing. Um, and that is just to fire this up. Get the fluids running. We'll even drive it around real quick. We'll take it down the road real quick. Turning radius isn't all that great on it. And it's not very quick. Definitely not good to uh, take on the road, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and take this back. Get it parked. All right. Got it moving around up to operating temperature at least for a little bit. Got to run these things every once in a little, uh, little while. They're not made to just sit. They need to be ran. So yeah, this field is done with cutting. Uh, he doesn't want to pick it up just yet. Uh, I think he wants to let it grow again, then cut it, and then run the uh, windrower through it, and then bail it up. Uh, he does not have a tether, so won't be really... I mean, even though it's going to be sitting here for a little while, it's going to be drying out. I don't know. He doesn't want to do hay, so... It's his farm. We just, uh, we just work for him. But, let me... Make my way back over to the property. I want to stop and check something out along the way with that other those people across the street from me I'm not going to go on their property but uh, we're going to go over like to my mailbox area and 
start working a road in. Uh, but that'll give me an excuse to drive by their driveway and just take a peek. All right. You know, I gotta say, this truck is running very well for an old beater. It gets up and goes, too. Alright, we'll slow it down. We will slow this down. Getting a little crazy. Alright, there's our mailbox. Let's keep going just a little bit. Where's that road at? Oh. Um, it looks like they now have no trespassing, which makes me wonder even more what exactly they have going on back there. I do see some buildings through the trees a little bit, but we're not gonna we're not gonna bother with them tonight. Hopefully, they don't bother us. So we'll start working our driveway in a little bit. I know we do need to cut uh, some trees and move those out of the way, but while we're here, let's go ahead and check our mailbox. I don't think we would have anything in the mailbox just yet. Oh, looks like we do. What is this? Um... Says we know who you are. What exactly does that mean? We know who you are. It couldn't. It, surely it couldn't be these people over here saying they know that it was me creeping on their property. It was dark out. How would they know? But they did drive by my property entrance over there last night, yesterday, and then we heard some creeping around in the woods. I don't know, we are pretty close to the road. I don't know, things are getting a little strange. We may have to... We may have to talk to some folk in town about these people. I don't know. Not sure how to feel about them, but... Let's just uh, ease our way on back into our property. Okay, so we need to get these logs moved and we also need to get these uh, stumps grinded up. And Jimmy was telling me about a uh, dealership on the north end of town. So let's go take a look. They said they, they have stuff for sale, and they also have uh, equipment for rent. So, let's let's head on up there and see what they have. Uh, they also do custom orders for any piece of equipment that you would need. So, uh, yeah, let's... Oh wait, I went the wrong way. Whoops. Yeah, so let, let's uh, let's head up there and see what they have. All right, well here we are. Uh, this is quite a big dealership. Did not know this was up here. It's kind of out in the middle of nothing. But uh, looks like they have all their new stuff up front, of course. Got the Kubota. Got some John Deere stuff. And some case equipment. And it looks like there's also some stuff inside. Let's go ahead and just park it up right here.
And uh, let's head on inside and see if there's somebody here that we could talk to. Actually, let's let's take a little peek at what they have inside. This place looks fairly new. Yeah. Got the big John Deere 9R and the X9 Harvester or Combine. Very nice. Uh, looks like they have an 8R. Of course, they're going to have their good stuff inside. Got a case. And then also the big uh, combine, as well as the 470. Yeah, pretty decent selection of big equipment in here. Uh, they also have some stuff outside. Let's let's take a little browse outside with what they have. That's not the door. <laughs> uh, so they have their Kubota stuff over here. It's like a wind rower. Very nice. Much too big for uh, what Jimmy's got going on over there. The skid steer would be nice to have. Got an M5, an M6, an M7, and an M8. You got one of uh, each size. Very nice. Um, yeah, four seater. Little buggy. They also have a John Deere buggy over here. Side by side. kind of nice. Uh, got the 6. Got a 7. And the T560 Combine. Got a Case 115. And the uh, 7150 axle flow combine there. And looks like they got a baler over here as well. Uh, they don't have any John Deere balers or Kubota. But uh, yeah, so let's, let's go inside and uh, talk to somebody about rental equipment. I don't see any rental equipment, but uh, we'll go inside and ask. Okay, so they said go around the back side here, and there's a gated area. Go ahead and open up the gate. It should be unlocked. And uh, take a little browse at what they have back there. Oh, they got a nice little workshop back here. Uh, looks like they may be closed. It's still kind of early in the morning. Well, not really early, but I don't know what they got going on back here. Okay, gate is unlocked, and they got some front loader stuff going on. A little 6R, maybe? Uh, got a case and a Kubota, all with front loader attachments, and a little skid steer. Looks like a smaller version of what's up front. They do have some, uh, semis over here. It's like a Volvo and a Mac. Don't quite need that. Some trailers in the back there. This over here looks to be what we're looking for. Got a log puller. And a stump grinder. Uh, the only problem is I don't think our tractors will run this. I think we'll be okay with this, but I don't think we have quite enough power or the size to run this. Uh, we'll have to see what the horsepower requirements and everything are for this and uh, go from there. Uh, we also have 
Looks like some buckets for the front loader stuff, some forks, and then some skid steer stuff over here. We'll take a look at the trailers. Now we don't have a truck that could pull the gooseneck and we don't have a semi. This right here will attach to our truck. All right, well, let's let's go get some information about this and uh, see what the horsepower requirements are for all of that. And then if, if need be, we could always see, I guess, what the price is to rent one of these. I mean, it's gonna be quite pricey to get some logs moved. But yeah, let's, let's, let's go talk to them. Okay, so I talked to them and our tractors are definitely not gonna be able to run the stump grinder our Massey should be fine on this. Um, but it's definitely not going to do this. So, uh, these tractors are way too pricey to rent at the time, at this moment. So the trailer is actually not that bad to rent. So we may end up renting that and heading over to Jimmy's. I called him to see if we could borrow one of his tractors and uh, he said yeah just come on by and uh, use whichever tractor we need so that's good uh, so let me go get the truck and I'll come in and get this trailer just thinking maybe loading that stuff have them loaded up onto the trailer or we could we could go get the trailer come back or uh, we could load up the trailer go get the tractor from Jimmy's and then come back, grab the uh, the equipment, and then load it back up onto the trailer. Uh, hopefully our truck can pull it. Uh, may end up needing to borrow Jimmy's truck as well. I don't think he'll let us borrow it. But uh, we just need to move some logs and get some stumps grinded up. And then uh, we should be fine. Uh, we're gonna have to move the tent a little bit uh, so we could start kind of figuring out how we want to uh, lay out the foundation and uh, blueprint of the house that we're gonna be building. So yeah, let me head on over to Jimmy's or uh, go back here and get the tra uh, trailer see if that's close enough yeah there we go okay all right we're here at Jimmy's I went ahead and uh, paid the rental for the um, trailer so let's actually just go ahead and get turned around Right here should be good. Let's get these ramps down. Alright, perfect. Now these ramps can move. We can just slide them as we need. Uh, which I'm thinking we're probably going to because I think we're going to use this. Now we can't put the uh, stump grinder on the front because we got the weights. We could put it on the back though and just run it that way so I think that's what we'll do we'll just use this that way we're not using his uh, new tractor and uh, this one over here we could use this one as well but it's got skinnier tires I don't know I, I think we'll use uh, we'll use this guy over here so I think we're going to need to uh, make those ramps a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and get in this thing. We'll get it lined up with the trailer. 
and just see how much wider we need to make the ramps. Let's uh, straighten this up just a little bit better than that. Let's see where we're at here. So we should probably just go ahead and make it as wide as we can go. So let me do that. Alright, there we go. Got them stretched out as wide as they'll go. And we'll go ahead and get this thing up on the trailer. Hopefully the tractor is not too wide. Oh boy. We may end up having to use the other tractor. Let's let's just see where we're at on this. I mean, we should be okay. We'll have a little bit of overhang, but maybe we might be better off using that one. It does have enough horsepower to run that stump grinder. I think this this one might just be a little bit too big for this trailer so we'll go ahead and just park this one and use the uh, use the white all right we got the white loaded up it is also just a little big for this trailer but I think we'll be okay really do um, hopefully the truck can handle it we'll see we, like I said we may end up having to use uh, Jimmy's truck, but I don't think he'll let us use it, but let's go ahead and get in here and get on back to the dealership Well scratch that plan. Uh, we got all of maybe 20 feet and it lifted the front end of the truck and I swung Over here Almost into the tree uh, Yeah, so we're, we're probably just gonna have to drop this here And uh, hopefully we can sweet talk Jimmy into letting us use his big truck. Let's uh, just carefully get out of here. All right, well, great news. He uh, said, yeah, go ahead and use it. So we'll just make sure we're very careful with it. So uh, yeah, let's... <laughs> Let's, uh, let's get in this thing and check it out. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is a beast. Whoa. All right. I don't think this is going to work. We may end up just having to uh, take the trailer back and just drive the tractor up there. Uh, and if that's the case, we're going to take the, the big case up there to get it and well we could always take could always take the other Massey alright change of plans let me get this sorted out and then uh, we'll get things going okay so I've decided we're just gonna go ahead and take the big case that way we can carry both uh, implements back down uh, over to our property and uh, we can just go ahead and get to work. I'm wasting time. It's starting to get late in the afternoon. So uh, we'll just we'll drive this on up to the dealership and grab those implements and I'll see you guys back at the property. Alright, we are back at the property and I'm gonna probably need to move the truck here. Um Yeah, I should probably go ahead and just move this. Okay, truck moved. And uh, we're going to probably start with this little one right here. Just get it out of the way. It's kind of hard to see where we are here. It's not too bad.
That's actually almost uh, perfect. But uh, yeah, let me get these stumps grinded out and I'll be back here in just a minute. Well, it is now late in the evening and uh, we were able to get all of the logs moved over here. I was able to lift them up. You know, kind of with the assistance of this and kind of just picking up the lighter ends and uh, get them stacked up over here kind of out of the way for now and uh, yeah these logs I don't know what we'll do with these logs either use them for a log cabin or have them uh, milled down into um, lumber for you know two by fours and uh, building materials basically to build a house uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll kind of figure that out, but I need to get these uh, implements back over to the dealer and then get the tractor back on over to Jimmy's and uh, grab the truck and come on back to the property. So uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been an interesting day. We got to figure out what that note was. I'm pretty sure it was those people across the across the road there that are kind of suspicious that I was sneaking around their property. I'm interested to see what's going on over there though. Maybe I should maybe I should try to make friends with them and see how that goes. Uh, this is not the way to go. Where am I going? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but... It definitely seems like they don't want people sniffing around over there. They got those no trespassing signs up. And yeah, it's uh it, it's it's a little fishy if you ask me. We'll have to figure out what's going on over there. Maybe even try to contact the uh, local law enforcement uh, if there is any in this town because I honestly haven't seen any so we'll uh maybe have to talk to Jimmy and see see what he suggests mm -hmm. 